Hello, everybody. Welcome back to this episode of the Dope Podcast. Uh, we regret to be the ones to inform you, if you didn't already know, Toriyama has passed. Can we have a moment of silence for the sensei of anime? All right. Uh, but welcome back to this episode of the Dope Podcast. Uh, today... We're going to be just talking about random shit. We're getting back in the studio. Um, Sansi Eduardo, personally, I did not like Eduardo in the last episode. If I'm, if I'm being honest, <laughs> I'm going to bite 50. I didn't say this. Personally, I do not like Eduardo. I don't know why we... <laughs> personally, I do not mess with him. Ever, I don't know why we invite him anywhere. <laughs> yeah, Eduardo can get his ass gone. But, um, uh, yeah. yeah I'm, I mean, I'm excited. This is official. We are starting season three back up. We are back. Back to the weekly schedule. As... As we kind of said we would have might have done I, I don't know if we actually ever said we would come back but i think we alluded to we could and yeah, well we're we back. said it was a hiatus not a yeah ending. that's true we did say that i yeah. guess yeah but yeah we're officially back uh i'm actually not completely sure if we're going to do the weekly or we're going to do bi-weekly or whatever but we are back season three is official and now. as needed type thing. yeah um but yeah I'm, I'm very excited to be back as well i do think me and tyler were talking about this i do think the break was well, like kind of necessary we did need that break for big sure clutch, big clutch yeah it definitely was clutch it was, I, I do kind of i kind of agree with uh tyler in the sense of like that last episode kind of back <laughs> kind of mid for that to be our first episode back it was kind of like eh, like there was nothing mm. really going on there i don't remember yeah. what we talked about to be honest <laughs> i don't think we talked about anything really to be honest it was nonsense really <laughs> dude i put that drink because of the name i was like it's funny <laughs> and i've heard that drink before right. um anyways <clears throat> Um, but yeah, we're, we're back with season three. We're going to have, uh, try to have a little bit more structure in season three. I have a, a segment I want to have at least in every episode, de depending on how it goes, right? Depending on how they like it or whatever. But as of right now, yeah, we talked about the Toriyama thing. Just everyone knows, everyone knows that Toriyama was huge to the anime. I mean, we don't really need to talk much about how big he is. The Godfather. I mean, everybody anime. knows. Yeah, yeah. Like, just like, you can literally look at like how the fact that all the manga cuts are coming out saying something about how like they inspired them you're talking about yeah. kishimoto a oda like even um what's his name araki right? araki like, said it yeah people all who make these legendary series are like yeah we look up to toriyama dr well, slump and, and Dragon so, Ball inspired and so so many. so many of them are saying like i would not have become a manga if it was not for toriyama yeah. like they made going to school and drawing pursuing yeah. drawing enjoyable was just because of what he did yeah and like toriyama so got me into anime dragon ball is like the main it was i feel the like first... everyone watched dragon ball when they were kids well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Dragon Ball Z, yeah. dragon Ball Z but for me yeah. it was like it was the fact that like i rem this is the core memory for me when i was getting into anime i was i was telling my brothers like maybe middle schoolish or something i was like dude i need to find more anime more shows like dragon ball like i remember watching that with because <laughs> i have two brothers i was talking to my other brother that I didn't watch Dragon Ball with. I was like, I remember watching this with uh, with Elijah and Dragon Ball. He was like, oh yeah, Dragon Ball, that's anime. I'm like, oh, you're going to show me more? So you tell me there's more stuff like Dragon Ball? He's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is like a whole thing. He sh that's what he showed me, like my anime list. He was like, boom, whole website. You can find a whole bunch of animes on here. I was like, <laughs> and it opened up my eyes. I mean, if not for Dragon Ball, I'm not even into anime like I am right now. No, for mm -hmm. sure. You know, I grew up reading Dragon Ball. It's the first manga I read. It's one of the first things I ever read. You know, it got me through middle school, and it, it hurt when I saw he died. Like yeah. he, he got me through middle school. I remember, I, I remember reading it weekly, and then Tyler like, "Yo, you like, come on, Devin." Get no, this. no, yeah, cause, okay, okay, so, <laughs> okay, so in middle school, it was school, multiple dude, times. Okay, school, That's, I was really, it was, it was just multiple times. It was multiple times. I was always one fucking chapter behind Devin, and then I'm like, Devin, let me see that shit so I can. Like, nah. I, was, I was like, I was like, I was like, it. Just let me read it real quick. Nah. I can read it. Like, I go to the next chapter, but. Because like there's only obviously like one chapter per you know I, I was even surprised looking back middle school I even had manga yeah little manga actually crazy in with but I was always like one chapter behind Devin for Dragon Ball Z and I was like Devin finish that shit so I can fucking read it and he's like no no I'm like, you can already read it yes I'm just holding on I I'm got like, married Let me read it again <laughs> I mean between that there's also like a policy like something happened to the book it's also on me so I was like yeah. no Tyler something happened to the book I want to make sure it gets back to like its rifle please. <laughs> Also, um, I mean, I think it does say a lot about how, like, anime has changed. The fact that back then, in, in our middle school, I'm pretty sure me, Demi, we were the only ones reading that Dragon Ball manga. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because me and Devin and Tyler, we would just cycle out renting out the Dragon Ball mangas. Nobody else would ever, like, say anything about it. I've never no seen, one was ever in the That section. shit was always full, unless, like, the chapters we took. 
Because mm-hmm. I'm it, like, it would be at the point where if I went to the section, and I looked for like a trap, a chapter was missing, and I was like, oh, a volume, I should say. But volume was missing, I was like, oh, Devin probably has it. Like, Devin, you got this? Yeah, I got yeah, this. I got it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> there was a you already know, baby. And there's no other side. I was like, Devin, hurry up, return that <laughs> shit. I whatever. There, I went to the fucking public library just to read it so I can get ahead of Devin. Because I was like, I'm tired of this bitch ass taking the manga for like three weeks at a time. Like, I, 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 I can skip reader, it. Yeah. I can skip the, the volume, but I'm going to miss a bunch of shit. And I think at the time when I did this, I was like, sell games. And I'm like, I don't want to be missing shit right now. So I, I went to the public library and I checked out a book. That was the first time I ever, like, myself wanted to go to the public library. Mm, just mm. because of Devin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just, it's tough. Especially now, because, I mean, Super's still going on, too. And then Toriyama had a lot to do with it. And Toriyama had some ideas for wanting to do, like, when we got to the oop part. And now we're not going to ever get that either. So that's going to be interesting to see how Super continues. I know for sure the next, um, <coughs> for sure the next volume of Super is going to have some, like, me- memory uh, memorabilia for him kind of like how berserk did for mira yeah for, for sure. sure and i'm curious to look at that i want to see what they're going to do for that yeah i know um i know there was a statement like he was working on other projects and he wasn't able to complete them before he died so i wonder if like he ever wrote those down and like if they were gonna continue maybe mm, what oh, they're like dragon quest and stuff i don't know and, um, like he, he said like he had like other things uh, yeah, uh, that just wasn't completed so i wonder if that, that was that all dragon ball was it maybe dragon quest i don't know it's, he was doing a lot of things, but a lot of, especially at this point in his career, he's kind of um, taken a backseat in the writing stage. He did a lot of like creative uh, direction and like art and stuff for okay. for series and stuff. So that's most likely what it is. And yeah, that's gonna be a big loss for a lot of them because he talking about creative direction. That guy is extremely creative. Look at you can say whatever you want about Dragon Ball. It is very. It's the, it came out in the eighties and nineties. Think about what was happening in the eighties, nineties. Dragon Ball is like obscure compared to what, like compared to now. Yeah, it's, you can maybe say it's basic, but look at it in the time it was coming out. He literally paved bro was away. an innovator. Yeah, he was innovating shit. Who would have thought of like, let me make a bubblegum guy, bro? He cooked that up. He was he like, could. let me make this guy <clears throat> sell like the, the androids. It's like. Like these are topics that were kind of thought about, but he like really jumped on them and made them. Well, made a lot them. of times too, if you were to say it's basic nowadays by today's standards, a lot of people like a lot of common stuff they base their stuff off of the yeah. way Dragon Ball did it. So it's basic because of the way Dragon Ball is yeah. and how inspirational Dragon Ball is. Because everyone takes from it, and they're like, oh, "I'm gonna use that as mine." Exactly. Because yeah. mm. then I, I see people all the time. They're like saying, "Well, they did this better than Dragon Ball." And I wouldn't say they did Good. it better. They were able to. Uh, they were able to make adjustments and add on to it because Toriyama did it first, he and they tra- were able he trailed, to. Then, he blazed the trail. Yeah, yeah, they were able to take that and be like, "Okay, how can I change this and make it different?" Mm. And by making it more intricate, a lot of people see that as better. But it's not always better. It's just different. I agree. Because Toriyama wasn't thinking about, like, when I'm making this, let me make it more intricate. He was just like, let me make the story fun. Yeah. yeah for sure. Yeah, Sad day. It was, it was really tough. I remember seeing that on Twitter, and I was like, I was like, no mamas. There's no way. I, I was very, I remember people were saying, like, um, I don't know if it was a joke or if it was, like, kind of, I think it was probably a joke. But, you know, like, the... Walt, the Walt Disney statue with him and Mickey Mouse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they get Toriyama and Goku. Yeah. Yo, that would go hard. Uh, like, I think that would go hard. Like, Toriyama and Kid Goku. Like, that would, that would go hard. And then they were like, they were like, yeah, you got to put it in Mexico, though. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know about it until Awaro said something about it. Because I remember that on, on that day, I was just playing, like, a game. And Awaro said something. Like, that ain't real. And then I went to Twitter. And then everyone's <laughs> talking about it. Every creator I follow is talking about it. I'm like, mm-hmm. fuck, man. Dude, Stephen yeah. A. Smith even talked about Did it. Did he? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Everybody. That. That shows you the levels of how influential Dragon Ball is. You have people who don't even talk about anime who are talking about it. Mm-hmm. Athletes yeah. were ta- on Twitter talking about it. They're like, damn, bro. Like, it's just crazy. Yeah. Never would have thought it. He's, he's relatively young. Yeah, too. 68, right? 60, yeah, 68, yeah. You know, I, I never would have thought, it. especially after he retired so young, too. I really thought, oh, he's going to have a lot more life in him, too. Do you, uh, do you remember what he died from? Was it an aneurysm or what was it? I don't remember. I don't I remember either. Into how he died. I I it, it, it probably wasn't an aneurysm, but I feel like it was an aneurysm, which it can happen to anybody at any time. Mm. It's just like your brain vessels just explode. You're just dead. But did y'all see some of the the things that the other mangaka wrote about? Like, yeah, I, I read uh, I read uh, Kishimoto's and Oda's. I think those are the only two that I so, read. So yeah, I was just saying like like Oda's like drop drop Loki's dropped a bar on this guy. <laughs> he was like he was like uh, I hope the, that I hope that the paradise is as pleasant as you imagined in your manga. And I was like, hmm, that kind of cut deep. I was yeah. like, ah, oh, fuck, because like, you know, you go into Dragon Ball like. 
you don't really die you go to heaven or, or mm -hmm. wherever the place is um and like you have like this grand heaven is like i mm -hmm. hope it's as good as you thought it was mm -hmm. you know and then dragon soul you know uh, we will never die. We'll yeah. rise again. I saw you little quoting that, and I was like, ah, got me in the feels. Got a little teary eyed. I mean, Oda, Oda was heavily <laughs> inspired by Toriyama. So I know for yeah. certain people, like, like especially like we were talking earlier, like the mangakas who were like not only inspired by uh, by um, Toriyama, who were like friends with them. Like, yeah. like the big three, they're all like Kubo, and Oda, and um, they're all really <coughs> they're all really close to Toriyama because Toriyama helped them and how they got started and helped them giving them ideas and stuff. So I know it's going to be tough for all of them. And it's just, yeah, I mean, that's, I think we, we've said enough about it. Yeah. All right. So now lighten the mood here. Um, this is a, this is a topic I got from um, Twitter. I was curious on your guys' thoughts of it. Cause I mean, I think I kind of know your thoughts on it, but just still we can talk about it. Um, this was um, called, um, someone said, do you consider every series in your top 10, a 10 out of 10 sort series? And if not, why? Why or why not? For I me, I don't. I think, I think I do. When it comes to like totality, like if if I were to differentiate between anime and manga, then no. But if I totality it, I would say yes, I do. I do consider everything in my top ten. ten, ten, ten. Top ten, like these are my top ten favorite shows, yes. right? Or like manga. Is it <clears throat> manga or is it just anime? Well, he or was manga? an anime Twitter, so oh, yeah. Okay. I I assume. Most of the time when people are talking on any Twitter, they do any manga. They don't usually differentiate. Um, the way I see it, I don't think every series that in my top 10 are like 10 out of 10s. But I think there's like one aspect out of them. Like one aspect in the show I'm watching that is like peak. Yeah, like the writing's that really, yeah, that's really good. Yeah. That's like, that's why it's in my top 10. Mm -hmm. So overall, not 10 out of 10, but there's an aspect that specializes in that has a special place in my heart. I think it depends about like how I want to rate it because like there's a subjective and objective part of it, right? Subjectively, yes, everything in my top ten would be a ten out of ten yeah, of because it's my opinion. It wouldn't be in my top ten if if it wasn't a ten out of ten, unless I just mm. literally have only seen ten things and one of them. So it's like it's like I've definitely seen more than ten things. So it's like to make it into my top ten and to like get your spot there, you subjectively have to be a ten out of ten. But like objectively, I can look at like certain aspects of like one piece like where it's not a 10 out of 10 and because an aspect of it is not a 10 out of 10 the whole thing as a whole cannot be a 10 yeah. out of 10 mm. it's just transitive properties and it's like i can objectively look at things that are in my top 10 say that it's not 10 out of 10 and therefore the thing is not a 10 out of 10 objectively but subjectively yes everything is 10 out of 10. yeah that's i mean i understand the differentiating between sub subjective and objective i'm just saying like in in your opinion I think you should like obviously subjectively you can you can look at things and be like okay the writing maybe is not the best writing ever but it's good enough to where i can say it's still a 10 out of 10 because nothing is perfect right like that's that's a given like one of the series we can consider to be like perfect close to it or like full metal or attack on titan exactly. like there's series you can consider close to perfect you can still find flaws you can nitpick things nothing is ever truly perfect so I think when there are flaws and things where you're like, obviously you can look at One Piece or whatever your show is, you're like, it maybe doesn't do this as good as another show, but it does do these other things that much better, and that averages out to bringing it up to a ten. Say the way I would look at it is like a story like, um, <clears throat> uh, say for Berserk for example, like Berserk, one of my favorite series. If for example, there's something in the series I view Berserk to maybe do like an eight at or like a seven or something. Mm -hmm. well, I'm like, but then I think about the characters and like the world of Berserk. I'd put that like maybe like a ten or even there's some things right. like, but in eleven, like the art, like and stuff. I think if that average is out, it just brings it up because not everything in my mind has to be a 10 if it's if it exceeds expectations it would be above a 10 in my in my mind and that would bring the average up okay that's, that's the way i from. view it like, grant i'm not saying i'm objectively right i'm just saying that's the way i view it i, I kind of feel the same way because because i can because the, the reason i don't like the 10 scale as much sometimes when it comes to art especially is that I, what like what is a 10 to me when i when i when i watch something like if I'm saying animation, for example, I look mm. at JJK and I look at Demon Slayer. They're both amazing. I would say they're, you could say they're both 10 out of 10s. But mm. if I think one is better than the other, I should be able to give it like an 11. I can give JJK like an 11 and Demon Slayer a 10 if I think JJK is slightly better. That's the way I view it. It's like I don't, I don't like that you have to cap off your scale. 
I mean, as, me. I, I can see what you're saying, but at the same time, I would think a 10 out of 10 is perfect. So if you like to take JJK and it has like slightly, slightly better animation than Demon Slayer, you would give them both 10s, then Demon Slayer is truly like a 9.9. .9. I you mean, think about it that yeah, way. you just lower one. You would just lower it by like a decimal point. And it's but, like, it's still damn near perfect. But it's like, because this is better, this does deserve the 10. Yeah, so like, that's what I, I think about it. Yeah. Like, but, it it yeah, depends yeah. on how you grade it. Yeah, yeah. Because like when I grade, like, like One Piece as a whole, I would probably like objectively give it like a 9.7 or 9.6, but I wouldn't give it a 10. You know what I mean? So it's like, although I do think certain parts are 10s and could even potentially go into an 11, 10 is perfect. It is perfect. Like there is no going, you can't be above perfect. You can be better than perfect. Yeah. So but then I would just drop everything perfect, though. That's what I'm saying. What I'm saying about, is like, the 10 that, that's where the subjectivity of it comes yeah. down to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think it just depends on how you would rate it. Like what your scale looks like you know? yeah yeah because to me but 10, I like it. <clears throat> 10 is like a peak not perfect because i don't believe perfect exists so i think See, 10 to me is peak that's why, that's why I, I think you can go above it that's why i don't like rating like one through ten when it comes to things like that when there's so many factors that go into it mm -hmm. i would like a tier list like okay well like it's uh, a, yeah it's yeah, a, tier, tier a lot better it's right? an yeah. s tier show <laughs> Completely you can agree. have 10 s tier shows yeah and it's like they're just all s tier and if you were to you say know? is everything in your top 10 a s tier, s -tier. Would you say oh yeah i would yeah, say yeah 100 yeah. yeah. yeah i do agree it, it makes I think, it way easier i think the tier list is a way better way of organizing things because i think I mean, I, I do still like the form of a top 10. It's it's good. It's the it's OG. Fun, yeah. And I like still being able to look at the top 10. Like, this is my number one and whatever. That's still cool and all. But I think the tier ranking is kind of like the superior way. Well, I feel like with the tier ranking, like, it... it it kind of because like okay we said numbers like i said like for me to put a number on something you have two aspects or i have two aspects you have subjective and you have objective all right it's like which do you want to go but then you can kind of even though it tends to lean more subjective with the tier list it, it feels right like okay if i look at something it's like uh do i want to give it a six do i want to give it a seven do i want to give it a 7.5 what it's a b tier I, I give it B tier. Like it feels, it feels safe in a B tier. Yeah. Not quite A tier, but it's not C tier. It's a B tier. Yep. Like it just feels safe there, and like I feel more secure putting something there as opposed to giving something a six or a six point five. No, I I agree. Yeah. Like one through ten feels like very like strict and like, like limited. Rare, limited. Yeah. yeah, at least in, like in the tier list, you can have multiple things in S, but like. I, you can like order things in the S tier. Like, like, oh, this, this is a high S tier and this is a low S tier. Mm -hmm. There's more fluidity in how you can exactly. order, organize yeah. things. Mm -hmm. Less constraints. Yeah. 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 I always refuse to rate rate my series. Like I'll do a top ten list, but I will not rate them out of ten. I, I never want to do that. I just don't like doing that. Yeah. Um, we can do another topic from here. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, this one I'm sure you you might have, I think Devin might have seen the TikTok for this where the guy was talking about he's like would you would you stroke Superman to completion? Oh my god, I'm tired of seeing it, dude. <laughs> would you have you seen this one? No. Or, okay, so he goes he says would you stroke Superman to uh, completion and drink his come to get his powers, and then basically to flip off of that would you do that to anybody <laughs> to get their powers? To get their powers? Yeah. The crazy part is, you said that in five seconds. The TikTok, he, he like, he says it like in ten minutes. Like, would you sit down and stroke Superman to completion? I'm like, dude, just say the whole thing. <laughs> it takes forever for him to say it. It pisses me off. I mean, that's free, you know? No, it is free. No, it's, yeah, it's free. It's free. It is free. You gotta do some work. The, the the question I saw from someone posing in the in the TikTok comments was, how do we know if Superman can really finish? <laughs> I mean, you. Well, his muscles are so strong, he can just like stop himself, no? Exactly, right? That's what I'm thinking. Because, like, because we were, we were brought up, like, well, he has kids with Lois Lane. Like, yeah, but he could just make, like, most guys can, you know, make yourself come faster. Superman could just refuse. <laughs> could just, no come? Well, yeah, we, for all we know, he could just be like, nah, I'm not coming. Like, if he just flexes hard enough, <laughs> like, it's over. Where's it going? Where's the semen going? It's not coming out if he just flexes hard. He doesn't orgasm. Enough. Yeah. Okay. Um. I mean, I mean, I guess we're assuming that where he's willingly letting yeah. us do. It. We're not just like, I mean, hey, Superman, give you a cock. Because at that point, he's saying, get off me, peasant. Okay, okay, so that's why you gotta go quick. Okay, okay. Okay. You gotta be like, <laughs> you gotta be like, am I the yeah. Flash? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, like, if we're thinking about this, right? We're thinking about this, right? It sounds like we're leaning more towards yes. Now, the next <laughs> logical question is, how much does Superman come? Because is it like a, like, like a gallon? Like a no. Superman, I don't know. Like, is he yeah. coming like a shot glass? Is he coming like a gallon? Like, like, like what? Is, how much is this man coming? He's super Superman. Right. He's a Superman. He is a Superman. How much do you have to drink to get the powers? I think it's just a, a sip? swallow. A sip? A swallow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. If no one specified that you had to drink the whole. Yeah. 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 
Is Superman the guy you're going for? Yeah, yeah. All fiction. Yeah. I, I, mean, I have all the fiction. I mean, uh, I don't know. I would. I guess I don't know. I Maybe. mean, I fuck with the Flash. <laughs> but like, yeah, I guess Superman. Yeah, I take Superman. Flash is easy. He'll come quick. Everything he does is fast, so it'd be you, you get that done real quick if you true. really want to do the Flash. True, true. Hmm. I don't know. Superman seems a little boring, but I guess it is here, man. You get he has so many abilities. Yeah. 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 It, I mean, it would be pretty boring, especially in our world. It's like, what am I going to do with all this? Yeah, power? what am I going to do now? And I don't know. That does, uh, does, uh, there's another question I, w I was always thinking about as well. It's, um, people always talk about how do the, realistically, how would superheroes keep their physique? Because they can't, they can't strain their muscles enough for how strong they are. Like people like Spider-Man and Superman, they have to it make just, all it just, these. It just happens. Well, in, in story, they make oh, all okay. these. Like, you mean like in reality? Yeah. In story, they make these like special facilities for Superman to be able to work out and stuff. And hmm. the Avengers have their facilities and whatnot. Realistically, if you got these powers in real life, you would have nothing and you would lose your muscles. And eventually you would get weaker. Uh, you would appear to. Uh, you, would, you wouldn't get weak. I guess. I mean, yeah, I don't think you because would get you were weaker. given it. So it's like, like, okay, I think of like, like Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. He just woke up and he was mm. just had abs. It's just, it's just part of the, it's just part of what happens. You just mm. get better. You know, you're, you're more superior because you have the powers. Yeah, I don't think you get worse in a sense, but you, you wouldn't get better. You, you can get better, but you're just not like, I don't, you're not, think, I don't think you would. Unless you like, if you're at Superman's level, like, what are you going to do? I don't know. If you, Superman, even if you're Superman's like, a weird level, example. Gonna, like, go bench like a yes. building. Like, what are you going to do? If you're at Superman's level, just low key, just go fly out into the universe, start benching planets. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he do. He'd be like, well, granted, he has like special machines to like connect them and shit. But, yeah, like yeah. Superman, he tests like his limit and every once in a while it does like increase. Mm -hmm. Whether it's due to like mental blocks or him actually doing shit. I don't know. It's different every time he ever writes it. Yeah. It's like Spider-Man. I mean, what, what you can, I guess, because he's he's not super strong to the point where it's like nothing on Earth can. Yeah, can I was gonna say, like, what are you gonna muscles? do? Go build a build, like bench yeah, a building? Like that's what like, you could do if you're like Superman. <laughs> like, no, you can, like a building literally is not enough for Superman. <laughs> yeah. At least for Spider-Man, there are things that exist on Earth that could actually test your muscles. It's possible, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I also I guess it depends like what your power is. Like if my power, like yeah, I can teleport. What am I working out for? I don't need to work out. I'm just teleport. Yeah, but you lose your super body physique. Okay. But this is assuming that as soon as you get a power, you get like the physique. Physiques. I mean, yeah. they most like they they always do. No. <laughs> I don't, I don't know so. too many out of shape heroes <laughs> unless you're the fucking blob. But <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not too informed on this topic. However, I feel that like is true. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're I right. Was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, I don't know. Actually, I can't think of any out of shape. <laughs> I don't honest. know too many. Toad. Toad. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's just ugly. He's out of shape. No, he's out of shape. He? I know he's just yes. ugly. Bro was a little like dad bod, <laughs> but like I, I would assume that if like you get grant, if you just like just teleportation, you're not gifted like superhuman reaction, superhuman <laughs> strength. Like you're not given these. Mu it's like you just teleport. That's all you do is teleport. So yeah. it's like you're just a regular dude. You can just go work out, go to the gym. That's what I'm saying. Like so teleport, that's, your that's, ass, that's how I teleport your ass, <laughs> dude, the the gym. and then go work out. Like you're just a regular guy. But if it's like, yeah, oh, yeah, if you're given superhuman strength, it's like, oh yeah, you're gonna get build muscle. You're gonna be stronger. You know. What if it just? What if basically just giving the powers just gives you like steroids? It just increased your testosterone. <laughs> that's <nuts. laughs> that, is that good though. All that I mean, testosterone because you I mean, wouldn't know how to re re uh, regulate it because too much is like. Uh, too much converts into estrogen, so as long as you have like estrogen blockers, you'll be alright. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, dim, yeah. All you can just go to the doctor and be like, look, bro. Look. My estrogen is mad high. Hey, man. Can, we, can we remedy this? They're like, I for sure. Yeah. I got you. He's like, you'll cap out on testosterone. Yeah. Start doing research. You have to get like a degree and like. <laughs> all right, boys. Time to cycle up. Hop on the train. <laughs> Uh, you lose your natty status for sure. No, 100%. Now, yeah. That begs the question, what if someone's power is like completely useless, but like they get that boost, are they still natty? Because like they didn't like do anything. They just, they just, they get the, they get the test boost from the superpower. Uh -huh. Like the superpower is like on Tuesdays at 3 p.m. You can toast one piece of toast. <laughs> what? Like, at least 17 years. Like that's their power. But the, because they have the power, they get mm. the, they get like yeah, the steroid yeah. boost. Are they then natty? 
I think th- there's no <laughs> like, okay, look, like in the grand scheme of the universe, yes, they kind of are, but there's no way they would ever prove to anybody that they are because nobody would ever believe them. Yeah, like, look at their test levels and be like, nah, no shot, buddy. Like, and, well, okay, and they so- can't be like, you can't be like, check my like bank account. I've never bought steroids. Like, th- there's nothing they can do to prove that they've never done. So, it. so yeah, are we assuming that it's just testosterone that it's boosting? I'm just assuming it's just like steroids. Like it's so like it would show up as if they were taking steroids. Yeah. Mm. You can check like injection sites because injecting yourself with but, needles. But then people just get, like people just can. I don't know. Like I feel like there's just so many semantics. People are gonna be like, we you can't prove it. We're just yeah. I mean like at the end of the day you can't. But that's like like they are natty because yeah. They, so they, I say, they, that's yeah. why I said in the in grand scheme of the universe, universe they yeah. are. But they're never gonna be able to prove it because nobody's ever gonna believe them. Mm. Yeah. All right, one more topic. Uh, I did want to ask you guys this because I've uh, there's a couple of variations on this topic I've seen. I think this one was also on TikTok, so I don't know if you guys have seen this one. Uh, it was um, this girl asking, "What, what would, do you think would happen between one billion lions?" Oh, uh, and then like every, every Pokemon, Pokemon. Yeah. and it's like, okay, well, every Pokemon, Excluding just give me like just just give me like one Mag Cargo can and do whatever the science. Yeah. Like, okay, well, lions make anti Mag Cargo blanket. Like, <laughs> I, I've seen this. I have like, this debate so many times, and there's always like, yeah. yo, lion letter. I'm like, what the fuck is yeah, a lion like, letter? <laughs> exactly. Lion boat. It's like it's like it's like. Uh, uh, this, uh, I can't even think of it. Like, Gardevoir can make a black hole. It's like, mm, lion black hole cover. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> like, like, it's like, like endlessly arguing that the yeah, lions. I have not seen that. Dude, this debate is so old. Cause I'm, give me one magic carp stomping the lions. One magic carp, come on, Dally. One magic carp is not stomping the lions. That's dude. what she did every time. <laughs> He's not stomping. <laughs> I'm Just, a- Magikarp can jump over mountains. Like, yeah, how is that so many lions? It's gonna smack him on the head. Motherfuckers are dead. You gonna do it in one yes. billion times? Yes. Nah, bro. He's not doing it one billion times. Give me, give me one of these fuckers. Give me one Machamp. You're not it's soloing only- a lion. Just <laughs> one. One Machamp is soloing every lion. One Ghost type is soloing any lion. Well, to be fair, because uh, in this debate, right, people are saying that um, the lions are access to dark type moves, so bite and. So that's the question I've seen. Is it in our world or is it in the that- Pokemon world? To make it fair they are access to bite which is a dark type move so they are they would be able to hit ghost only to make it fair because like, yeah at that point gengar is going crazy what the fuck is that <laughs> any ghost type going crazy you can't touch them it's just, it's just... To be fair, I am on the Pokemon side because I hate this debate. Like, Pokemon are sowing. <laughs> Pokemon are sowing our nuts. world. Pokemon are nuts. Yeah, Pokemon are crazy. And I think, um, because I saw the debate, it was Jaden Animations. She was having this debate against Schlatt. And she's like, low key, we killed Jesus. Because, <laughs> 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 like, Shasta, like, like Arceus is sowing the lions. And they're like, I don't know, humans? We killed Jesus. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, what is this? She's got a cookie. I was like, yo, she she's got a point. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, funny. Pokemon. If you look at like what Pokemon can actually do, it's it's too outrageous. It's absolutely too outrageous. Oh yeah, but it's our third. Like, okay, I don't know if you know this. Machamp, he has four arms. He can bench press a mountain. He could punch a thousand times a second, and he never gets tired, canonically. Yeah. So it's like he can four times the strength, the, like the weight of a mountain, a thousand times a second, unlimited times. Mm-hmm. It's like, what is a lion ladder doing to that? <laughs> like, lion ladder. <laughs> lion ladder. They just, okay. They just He's surround, like, they surround them. Boom, boom, boom. His HP goes down. He dies. Okay, let's say they bite dark type move, weak to fighting types. Just saying. Like, we're being real. He's mm-hmm. also, the lions are normal types, which are fighting types are strong against normal types so he's There's a billion of them tyler like uh, you, uh, eventually if they just surround them a champ he's gonna die okay a thousand so a thousand times a second per arm that's four thousand punches per second right that's so barely a billion a divided by what oh that's barely a fraction billion but keep going but if, if you, you keep okay so like you have uh i have to do some math actually okay so a billion to a million is a thousand so then there's a million and then divided by four is two hundred fifty thousand. okay so that's two hundred fifty thousand seconds so he can go that how many minutes is that i'm not gonna do the math but like there's only so many places that a lion can attack from like they can't like warp through other lions they can lion ladder they can lion ladder <laughs> but then ladder. but then there's only like a certain amount of space that would be effective against him and there's also so he the, can have there's also the directions. underground railroad method they bro how are they digging their claws what do you mean how yeah, are you have you seen a lion tunneled in the ground you've not seen a lion tunnel a billion lions work together to do anything why are they working together <laughs> lion tunnel <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Exactly that. <laughs> the baby <made> so mad. <laughs> So what I'm saying is at the end of the day, there's only so many directions that lions can attack from. So it's like eventually, like let's say they do lion tunnel somehow, right? They get a good bite on his ankle. Some, let's not say somehow, like it's unreasonable. They're not it's doing that. Right? Cats, Cats don't dig, but somehow they get in there. If he beats up the lion tunnel, guess what? Now he's standing on the now occupied lion tunnel. The lions can't get through. Mm. It's like, you're gonna limit your options by like having the bodies there, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Also, like if he hits a lion with the force of a mountain, yeah, that's that's like, obliterated. Like, <laughs> like one one thousandth of a second, <laughs> like, it's splattered. Like, it's like it's like one punch man in like the sky, like going through that's it. If he hits, yeah. It, it's going to hit. There's a billion lions. We don't know. There's a billion lions. Okay, we let's say. Okay, let's, 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 do we let's have say, an IQ test on the Machamp? We don't have an IQ <laughs> test. Right. Do it. Well, to be fair, he does. <laughs> Some of champs do have like regular human jobs, so they are they capable. They, do, they, of, they are capable of that. Of yeah. some of thinking on that. I've, I've, I've seen, I've seen some movers. people work jobs, and I know <laughs> they're, they're, they're idiots. We know Awardos had some jobs. True, true. Yeah, me there. Yeah, me there. But if, Awardo, if I give Awardo the ability to punch, but look, 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 look. and you're confident he'll do it? <laughs> no, no, I'm I confident. No. I no. I Even he, all you have to do is punch. I, can, I, 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 I find it hard to believe that Awardo can fail the concept of punching. No, I feel like we. Like done this, and he was gonna punch something to test his strength, and just miss. He's like, and then fell. He was like, <laughs> he punches the earth, and oh my god, <laughs> destroys the planet. <laughs> oh my god. Besides, all fighting types, they are like they know how to fight. That's their thing is that they are fighters. So he mm. can throw a punch. Right. Like he's he's efficient in fighting, and also a lot of machamps do things like judo and wrestling. So they have a like a battle IQ beyond just punch fast and hard. I mean. So, I guess the question comes down to like, is it is it an endurance thing? Can can one uh, harming Pokemon now? I think it's like a thousand something. Yeah. Are they capable of wiping out a billion lions? Yes. Before and I uh, yeah I agree. Yeah, like there there they are. Like even if you just like okay just take just the Mag Cargo. Like he's there. He, he burns hotter than the surface of the sun. They can't touch him. Like they cannot touch him at all. I mean, no. I mean, no. <laughs> you can't get near it. You can get near that. There, if no. you use Pokemon logic, can he ever be hit by any other Pokemon? So by Pokemon yes. logic, then yes, he can. Exactly. That's the that's the that's the argument of it is that they're in the Pokemon world and they're fighting by Pokemon rules. That's why people would think the argument stands a chance. Because obviously, if you go by lore statement, if you do like a power scaling stance on it, no shot. Like like realistically, everybody knows that. But you're taking it into the put it in the Pokemon world in a Pokemon fight sense to actually give them a chance. So if but, that's the case. Also, you, you think you're, you're also overestimating like twice because it's the surface of the sun. People are like, oh crap, it's the sun. That's super hot, but it's, it's not, just, it's not 6, as hot 000, as you 6, think. 6,000 degrees Celsius, something like that. It's something like that, but you yeah. you can get, I think the, because um, I remember seeing this calc, I, I think you can stand at least like, um, ba -ba -ba, at least um, not a mile. No. Um, no. There, no, there's that a range. We, there's a range you stand, and, and you wouldn't. And it's it's like an astronomical range. Like no, it's not. It's not as big as you think. Look, man. I, want to, I want to see the scan that you can stand a mile. Dude, it's, it's, been so, it's been so it's been so long. It's, not, it's also not a scan. It's a count. People go outside. People, people go outside, and we're millions of miles away. No, is they get UV it poisoning? So like, no radiation hard. and uh, being radiation damage. Even, even just heat, you'd still have to be like a, a um, good ways away. Before what? Like you disintegrate or you? Because isn't lightning technically hotter than the surface of the uh, the heat that? It's the different because air insulates. So are we are we in space? It says three million miles. Yes. Is it really? That's what it says. That's one what astro suit. one astronomical unit. Yeah, with the space suit is what it says. Three million miles. Well, that's how close you can be to the sun. That's completely yeah. different than because the surface. Is, no, the surface of the sun is completely different than how much heat the sun itself gives off. Oh, I thought that's what you were asking. No, um, God, it's that been... makes that makes sense more sense then. If it's just a pure heat standpoint, still six. Is it, well, how hot is the surface? Is this the surface of the sun? One twenty? No, this is just that's how this is how close yeah. you can be to the the sun without like melting. Okay, um, look up the surface of the sun. I uh, want to say it's it says like it's ten. Or... It's ten thousand uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Okay, so it's ten thousand degrees Fahrenheit. That's so, a lot harder than I thought it was. It's very hot. The sun is very hot, Devin. I don't, 
<laughs> I, I remember seeing arguments for it. it again, but it, again, it's been it so long. Matter, though. It no, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's been so long that so I don't remember what the argument was. But again, like, are you in space? Or are you in like a place where the heat can transfer adequately? I don't remember. Dude. Like I said, this this debate is super. Hey, this yeah, debate yeah, is super yeah, old. Yeah, we're, we're good enough to beat the beaten path here. <clears throat> yeah, a little bit. Yeah. The, either way, it doesn't matter. But yeah, the 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 standard point of the argument is you're going by Pokemon rules. You're not well, going then, by the power scaling. Get rules. get get like get like. I'm trying to think, what's a good? Because that is the thing. Like, people what's are like, good, are you taking like what's game like the lore? Best water special attacker. The meta gaming this right technically you could say one surf could do it because that's what i'm saying like a surf, surf? A surf hits every pokemon or every, every like everyone in the battle so if it's a battle against like 1000 pokemon versus a billion lions they hit surf which then hits every pokemon and but, then however many water types they can just all spam surf yeah, yeah. like whenever it's surf, that is that is yeah. the meta argument that and earthquake i think those are the only two aoe attacks yeah. Or they just do like you can do dazzling or like rain dance or something. Doesn't that like rain dance would increase the power of the water? No, a, is it like uh, maybe it's a fire sunny day? Move. Sunny day, yeah. Yeah, sunny day. Okay, then okay. Well, then, Sandstorm. Then, then, then. <laughs> okay, up there. Give, give me one T tar that does earthquake. G give yeah, me, a, give me a choice T -tar. band T tar with earthquake. That <laughs> 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 was like, that was like, let me solve the lives. Let me solve the lives. Let me solve the lives. Give me a choice band T tar with a mega stone using earthquake after using nasty, not nasty plot. Um, what's his main move that he uses to raise his attack? Um, Dragon Dance. You use a dragon dance? Okay, dragon dance, okay? <laughs> like, they're not surviving that. <laughs> and besides, there's still like dazzling gleam and shit like that. And then you know, also AoEs. Yeah. You also. What oh, if, yeah, what that's what, what if I'm just like, <laughs> leech seed? What are you gonna do with a leech seed? <laughs> He's already draining his life force. <laughs> what, if, what, if, what, if, what if, like, you have like a ferrothorn that's like, mm, spikes? Like, you can't get near it because then it's gonna take damage, you know? Yeah, there's a lot of things, like, without using like Pokedexes, um, there's a lot of things that the Pokemon can do. The lions are just like, what the fuck do we do in this situation? <laughs> what are they gonna do when a meowth goes payday? <laughs> get throw some a, money. Throw a coin at him. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> get double money to that battle. True. And he also has an amulet coin, four x money. <laughs> I'm just saying though, like, look at realistically, what are they gonna do? Nothing. They can't do anything. All right, last kind of topic of this. Um, we um, but before we quit, um. Before we quit the podcast at the point, they were working on the One Piece we're live action. quitting the podcast? Before we... <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair. <laughs> we, uh, uh, deep. Oh, like, we just got back. Before we quit it, um, we were talking about the One Piece live action, but it didn't come out yet. And now it's been out. And I think we've all seen it, right? Yeah. Uh, Tyler, have you seen it? Yeah. yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. And I just wanted to talk about it. Like, what did you guys think about it? Because I don't remember ever talking. I think I might have talked to Devin about it or something. Uh, I remember watching it. I was like, "Damn, this looking kind of good." Like it was unexpectedly pretty good. Like, and I'm actually gonna watch season two. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Like it's it, usually you get the live action anime. You're like, "It's gonna be shit." Like usually, just how it works. It was yeah. pretty good. Oh yeah, for sure. I think um, I'm trying to think because like I'm trying to think of, like how I felt about it when I first watched it back then and what some of my thoughts. It was definitely made more so for fans of one piece yes, in that, my opinion to totally agree um, it got people in it like my dad got him into <clears> one piece and now we're watching the anime one piece because he liked the show that much but it is definitely made for like like for me when i was watching it i was cheesing the whole time i was like oh shit oh shit oh well, shit well actually you know? now that i think about it because like um I, I remember i went back and i kind of watched like people like who's never seen one piece and their first times watching it and the story is actually like well, what's the word? It's very co coherent. Like, you can not know anything about One Piece and watch that and still grab, like, a good sense of like, what One Piece is so, yeah, and what so, it's yeah, about. It's, it's newcomer friendly, but it's made for the fans. That's what it is. It's mm -hmm. like, it's made more so. So, it's like a, like a thank you for, like, yeah, of like, course. Like is... watching the anime. And then when you watch it, it's like, as a, a fan coming into it, you will enjoy it more. However, it, like, it is very newcomer friendly. It ex It's open, like, you don't have to know anything about One Piece. To yeah. get into this show, you know, it's a good gateway for the anime. Yeah, the action is really good. Like every time Zoro fight, I thought this is amazing. They showed his choreography. Uh, they showed his uh, um, Mr. Seven fight. Was it Mr. Yeah, Seven? The, they showed with the, yeah, it was Mr. The Seven. Mohawk, and I was like, that they talked about. Yeah, like, I didn't. They think... only talked about it in the manga. They never actually showed the fight. And they actually showed it. In oh, the, it was with okay. the candles. Remember, he was like cutting yeah. the candles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that, that, that was super was cool. Crazy. Um, it was, it was actually, I actually liked the way that they did the stretch of like Luffy, the way he like stretched his skin. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be whack. <laughs> I did not like Arlong's face. I mean, not, like, you, 
<laughs> to be I'll fair, see, I've seen a lot of people complaining about that too. I didn't really have that much of an issue. I didn't. I didn't have an issue either. Man. It is. It's a fish, it man. Like I, I, at a certain point, you can only do so much before you start getting like Marvel no, CGI yeah. levels yeah. of. They're trying to not do that. Yeah, they're trying to save their budget. So, I will say, I did not like the introduction of Garp as Luffy's grandfather that early because it's a big. It's not a big part, but it's a. It's a. It's a pretty big like plot twist of like, oh shit, like. The hero, like, because you see Garp, and it's like the hero of the Navy is actually Luffy's grandfather. You see that all the way in Water 7, like mm -hmm. the end of Water 7. Yeah. And so it's like, you don't think anything, you don't know anything about Luffy's dad, you don't know anything about his grandfather. You just know that, like, he, like, is just a guy from a village. That's all you know. He just wanted to become a pirate. Mm -hmm. So guess what? He became a pirate. He has this guy named Ace. That's his brother. You don't know about Sabo yet. So it's like, it, it, when I when I saw that, I was like, man, they like that was such a big part of Water 7. And then it showed that. And I also didn't like the fact that the Marines were so involved with Sierra Village. Because it's like, that was for Luffy to establish, like, help, like, Usopp become a pirate. That was Usopp's, like, christening into becoming a pirate, is learning how to fight hard adversaries. Mm. And then, like, they still did that in the live action. But they were having to sneak around, like, Kobe and Helmeppo and Garp. And it was just really weird, in my opinion. Because they shouldn't have been there in the first place. Yeah. I do... <clears throat> I'll say like I don't mind Garth's early introduction because it kind of it makes sense. Okay. It kind of makes no, sense. I don't mind his introduction. I don't like his introduction as Luffy's grandfather because it's, it's I don't, show mind, show. I don't, I don't mind that. And the oh, way okay. the direction they took the live action, it makes complete sense. If no, they yeah, would have not done it the way they wrote the show, if they would have not it, like confirmed that he was his grandpa, it would have made no sense. So, How so? Oh, can you explain that? With all the interactions they've had, for Garp to never mention it would be so weird. It would, it would literally come off as, like, okay. this is just lazy writing. The fact that he's never... It's literally like playing the pronoun game, which people hate about in movies and shows and do all the time. They purposely say <laughs> vague thing. Yeah, they purposely say vague things just so the audience doesn't know until they want to reveal it. That's what people would complain about because people complain about all the time. Yeah. So I think in that sense, yes, it, like, they had to do it. Otherwise, they'd be going with that issue of him but, saying but that. Could you also say... I mean, they we're getting the what-ifs now and hypotheticals. <laughs> but, like, if they were to not introduce that, would they not have changed the direction that they went with Garp's character in the show? Yeah, but that, that's so, what I it's, said. It's just the direction. The way it, it, it was written, that had to I just, happen. I just don't like it. And As someone that has seen the series, it's like, I do like the late introduction of Garp. Mm -hmm. Like... You, you know who Garp is, you know he takes in Kobe and Helmeppo. It's like, you know who this character is, you know he's the hero of the Navy. And it's like, oh shit, he's Luffy's grandfather. And like, he's low-key the reason why Luffy became the pirate that he is. And like, knows Ace and Sabo and mm -hmm. all that. And I like having that later in the series, when you already have that relationship of like, you kind of think, it's like, uh, you think you know how these characters are, you think you know like what their families are like, and then it's like you start seeing more background stuff like when they were younger, and it's like, okay, you see, you know, the stuff about Luffy growing up, and it's like, okay, he wants to be a pirate, and then it's like, oh, but his grandfather is the hero of the Navy and wanted him to be in the be a Marine. Mm. That, that completely changes the whole way I've thought about Luffy as a character. I mean, pirate. I think that just kind of goes into the way Oda writes his stories, because oh, the difference between this and like how the manga and the, the anime is written is that. Oda writes the manga as he like goes. He doesn't it, like in, when he was nineteen, starting with yeah. like twenty or whatever. He didn't know everything, yeah. right? Now doing the live action, he knows everything. So he can. F it, granted, this is all assuming he formatted the live action to his liking. He might have formatted this way because he was like, maybe if at the time when writing One Piece, I knew Garp was his grandpa off rip, I would have introduced it earlier. But yeah. then, and when he's writing the series, I'm not. This is all obviously assuming because we don't know. Oda's never yeah. confirmed it. If, if when he was first writing One Piece, he didn't know Garp was going to be his grandpa. What, like, what if he actually did just have Garp be a random guy, and later <laughs> he decided, hey, I'm going to make him his grandpa. Because that's the way I've always thought about Oda's writing, is that he doesn't, he purposely moment. leaves things yeah. open-ended, so that way he can come back to it and add things no, into 100%. it all the time. That's the way I've always used it. And to my knowledge, Oda, he didn't, like, show run or write the show, he just signed off that that's yeah. okay. I think so he didn't really have a lot of, he, he had say, he could say that that's not going to fly in the show. But a lot of it was like out of his hands. Yeah, I think there's also was an Oda statement saying like, um, there's some things in the show that he wish he would have thought about or wrote yeah, when yeah. he first no, uh, Brody, made the yeah, manga. Yeah. So maybe Garp. I was just saying like I do <coughs> like as a One Piece fan like I like the way that Garp was introduced as Luffy's grandpa. Yeah, but to go back on your point, like how you said like it kind of like changes the Garp story. Like in in the live action, like because they show Garp at Roger's execution, and that's not how the how it is in the anime or manga. So, like, in the in the live action, they know, oh, Garp is 
the guy who caught Gold Roger, he's there at the execution. He's clearly a big deal. Yeah. So all throughout the show, like he's kind of setting up like Garp is this big deal. And then you get to reveal that, oh, he is Luffy's grandfather. So it, it kind of does similar things, just in a more rushed pace. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I, I can definitely see what you're saying. Yeah, I can definitely see what you're saying. It's just, as, as for me, like, it just felt... It, the, regarding the whole, like, Garp-Kobe situation with the Marines having such a heavy prevalence of, like, like that as them as Marines, not, like, the Marines themselves. It's obviously, like, Axiom Morgan's big and, like, he's blue and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's, like, he's going to have his time to shine. But, like, Garp and his crew, be, or, like, his, like, battalion or whatever, being there and being prevalent in the story all along the way... It just feels like they wanted to add more characters, which, which is a part of the show. You want to add more characters so that people may like, like Kobe. He's like the fin boy that everyone wants. So, or like, not fin That's boy. true? <laughs> I guess, yeah, who's fin we? Who's we? <laughs> I did not say we. <laughs> I don't know who everyone is, but. <laughs> okay. Um, no, no, no. Like people online were like, yes, they finally have a fin boy in the show. Now I can have someone to attach on to. Because, like, especially women, they, they won't like, they, a lot of them don't like the super masculine men. They want someone more effeminate. And Kobe kind of fits that bill, especially in the show. Okay. I don't know. I've never seen this take, so this I've is new to me. I've never seen this take before you. <laughs> this, this so I'm in the One Piece community. I'm, I'm deep in the One Piece you can, community. Uh, you can also tell, because, like, um, they wanted to keep Kobe and Helmippo like in the story because like, yeah. you know they do things in the background due to like cover stories. We, and once we do see them again, like they are they're all built and trained, so we know they do things in the background. But you can tell like the live action just wanted them to keep them in the in story. The front, yeah. They didn't want to just disappear like how One Piece does. Like a character disappear and then they'll yeah. come back like a hundred. Like I said, I think it's later. just like the show runners wanted something that people can latch onto. Like these characters, like hey, maybe people really did like Kobe in the way that he came up, and they did like in the. Uh, community that's like, oh, well, he disappeared for like 300 chapters yeah. and he suddenly came back. You're not counting like cover stories. And yeah. it's like they wanted to keep them in the forefront. So it's like, if people like Kobe, they'll keep watching the show. Yeah, they don't, they don't have the luxury of them spanning out 100 episodes. They exactly. only have eight yeah. episodes. It's of, a like, different a season. medium. So it's like it's way different the way they have to do things. I do know that the showrunners or somebody um, working on the show did say they wanted to make a make more of a focus on the Marines. They wanted the Marines to have more of an impact in the series because he was saying in the beginning of One Piece, they're they're not hardly there but it's like you don't like you're not attached to the marine characters as much as you are to the pirates characters like you don't follow marines as much as you do the pirates and they kind of want it to be a healthy balance so you can actually this will be kind of always talk about one piece is that the villains are kind of like weak because we don't ever learn about them mm -hmm. so i, I think that's I, i'm granted that could be what they're attempting to do is try to make us get hooked on them but they just wanted to have more a more focus aspect, on the yeah. marine i think so that's a smart decision them. Yeah, I mean, that's, it's one thing I've always said Oda should do with his villains is show his villains do more things other than o the only time his villains show up is when they're fighting somebody, mm -hmm. like, in the, in the story. Other than that, we never get to see them. Yeah, I think the point of the Marines is, like, they, in their own sense, have their own sense of justice. I want to see, like, what their thought process yeah. is. I want to see, like, why are they fighting so hard against the pirates? Like, what like what about the pirates do they have to, like, you know, stop? And, like, what their thought process is. Mm -hmm. What, what, was there like a change that you didn't like about in the live action, Devin? Um, I didn't. Too like Tyler said, I didn't really like the Syrup Village stuff. I mean, Usopp didn't really Usopp do anything. Okay. Yeah, but like, but, like at least it's like, I didn't like the way they did the show. It was like it was so. How do, it, it felt like a cat in the hat murder mystery. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, dude. It's like they had angles. It's like, hmm. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? And there's only like, there's only like two people on the crew. I'm like, for the for uh, what the fuck is his name? I can't think of his name. Clahador. Clahador. Like, yeah. Like whatever his pirate name is. Uh, like. Um, there was like two people on the crew and it's just the two people working in the house it's like no he didn't have anybody work in the house he didn't want any kind of possibility people would know he's a pirate until he robbed them mm -hmm. so it's uh -huh. like they would all be off ship and then they didn't have Django okay are you mad about Django <laughs> why are we mad about Django <laughs> I want to be mad about Django you were talking about the marines dude Django <laughs> became a marine I was not mad about Django I guess but I don't, I don't care <laughs> Yeah, I don't care. I just think it was like it was just it was clearly the weakest section of yeah, like the yeah. episodes. It also, well, I mean, like if you think about it, it's what we would say is the weakest segment of One Piece in general, the, especially the East so. Movie, it's like yeah. I don't like yeah. I, you can agree it was it was weak, but it's like 
it's low hanging fruit. It was asked no, to yeah, begin yeah. with. It was like what they could have done is they could have what they did then is try and change it and maybe make it better or just stick with the ass. But, but and I don't like, And then like, let's switch it up and try and maybe not be ass. But like there was also, missed, there was also like major it. cop outs to like Zoro falling down a well, Luffy being put in a coma. Well, he didn't fall down a well. He was uh, pushed, right? No, he got knocked out and then they threw him in a well. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, but still, it's like. Zoro couldn't climb out of a well, be for real right now. And it's like Luffy gets knocked out by some food. Granted, it was poison. I mean, it's, but it's, like, it's this Luffy. Is, <laughs> but this is early One Piece, Tyler. You gotta think about it. Like, early One Piece, they're on some shenanigans. Like, remember Buggy stabbing Zoro? And he was like, oh my god. And like, Buggy took out Zoro. That's all I'm saying. Hey, also, like, <laughs> first oh, time after oh, oh, he oh, took oh, him oh, out. Oh, oh, Buggy oh, was on the king of the pirate ship. Oh, he was Shanks' his rival. <laughs> like, this man is crazy. He went to Impel Down. He went to the lowest floor of Impel Down, was the prison. <laughs> And broke out. This is not oh a normal God. pirate. You were not gonna disrespect like Buggy. Guy. Now. We're not I'm, gonna act like Buggy is not his. his that is bomb, not his what we're gonna. Bomb is city level. They're okay, like I don't. Think, I'm saying Sukuna, Sukuna don't want to see Buggy. I, think <laughs> not, see I love the argument. Hey, I was saying, Biak, don't want to see Buggy. You don't want to see Buggy. In a he, fight. He, he did see Buggy, and guess what? Buggy hey, left hey, unscathed. Ichigo ain't doing shit to Buggy. I'm gonna tell you that right now. We cut him. No, nope. oh, you're gonna cut him. <laughs> you're gonna cut him. Sasuke, yeah, you're gonna cut him. Come on, man, be for real. Kirito, ain't gonna cut him. <laughs> like, Buggy's kind of him. Buggy is him. I'm gonna think early One Piece was they're on some yeah, goofy I mean, shit. They, just thinking about the Buggy thing. Look at literally look at the panels of Luffy in that cage. Bro can get out. Bro yeah. can get out. You were just like, yeah, Zoro, help, yeah. Zoro carry me. You're like, yeah. all right. Yeah. Like, what are we doing? Yeah, that, that's <laughs> that's what what did. Did. Zoro's like, all right, I got you. All right, yeah, okay, all right. Right. I did like the way they did Buggy though. Like, the, yeah, the whole Buggy, Buggy was art. fun. I like the way they did like the the abandoned like circus village feel yeah. they did a really good job oh yeah for that. sure yeah i really enjoyed it that's one change i what, really enjoy but like, there was one thing for like talking about the, like the things we didn't enjoy that the changes this was like kind of a nitpicky on my part but i didn't like how they didn't how they they didn't make Zoro buy in to the Straw Hats earlier, like how he does. Zoro was like instantly with them. Yeah, like that's why. He was yeah, like, he's like, like you watching, and, with in it. the series, he's sort of like, "We're not a part of the crew." I'm like, "No, bro." Zoro, in the in the story, Zoro is ride or die with Luffy as soon as Luffy saves him. It's he, like instant. In the show, it's not like that. He he constantly says, "I'm not in the crew." Like, no. oh yeah, true. He's he's being Sundere. I'm just kind of there. Yeah. yeah. But like in the, it's not like that in the in the original. He's just he's ride or die with Luffy day one. That's a part of his character off rip. Ah, he's, but, he's a ride or die for Luffy. And I didn't like how they made him hesitant. I think he should have just been in, like Nami being hesitant makes sense. Well, because that's part of her character. Yeah, that's like literally. she's playing them. But yeah, why but, is Zoro also hesitant? Yeah, but I feel like it she makes has no reason to. Well, I feel it, like it was, it's more natural for him to be hesitant. No, because of the way like, Zoro is, he needed something to latch onto, and Luffy was that guy to latch onto. Also, Luffy didn't laugh at his dream. He didn't make fun of his dream. Luffy said, "You want to be the greatest pirate, of, your greatest swordsman of all time." Okay, join my crew. You're gonna be the greatest yeah. swordsman of all time. That's all it is. And Zoro was like, you know what? I like your attitude. He mm. also saw him take down like Axan Morgan, no diff, and like that's a big thing in the East Blue. Yeah, but in, in the live action, um, there are different story beats. Like in the live action, all three of them took out Axan Morgan. I feel like in the live action, they made Zoro this. I mean, he is this super serious character in the anime and manga, but not I, I, early. Okay, not early no, no, though. I do. Not agree, early. That's no, no, a, not I early. Agree, so in the live action, he is. They gave though. like, yeah. like they gave like current Zoro motifs to pass yeah. Zoro in the yeah. show. So yeah, you have this. That's what they're doing. You exactly. have this super serious bounty hunter. Why all of a sudden? Why he just follow this goofy ass kid? So it's only then once he loses the Mihawk and then. Yeah, you know. it's because they decided let's take end of se- not end of series like necessarily. current like series Zoro. Zoro. Yeah, exactly. They took like time to Zoro like, and the threw him into past. early Zoro. So that's, that's why it makes sense. See, that's not Zoro's character early. Of course. Yeah. But that's why it didn't bug me as much because I he was a, he was a completely different character, but he was different in a sense. But even even in the show, the reason the reason he doesn't want to follow Luffy isn't because Luffy's goofy. It's just because he's like I don't want to be a part of a crew. Like it's just it's it's literally the same Nami reasons, mm. which doesn't really make sense even in the serious character. It would be it would be more understandable. If, if Zoro's like I do things alone or whatever, like I'm a lone wolf or whatever, I'm a bounty hunter. I mean, he sort of was. He, he was yeah, but that's wolf. not what he was saying though. That's not his reasons for not joining the crew or being hesitant. It was just more about the lines of like, no, like he was literally being a tsundere. No, I'm not a part of the crew, but <laughs> like, I'm gonna follow you everywhere. Kind of going it was on, stupid. I was like, why is he a tsundere? This is dumb. Yeah, kind of going <laughs> yeah, on with like yeah. that team dynamics. It was it was really weird that like like Sanji bought in so fast because there was no Don Krieg. There was no interaction with the Bratier. 
it was just like kind of Arlong showed up, kind of wrecked the place a little bit, and that was it. And, and then Sanji's like, "All right, I'm gonna go with this guy." This well, is, okay, no, 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 okay, Sanji, no. Sanji did not instantly. It was, it was. Um, what's Zeph well, like, made him go? Yeah, he made him go, but like he was still like he bought in. There was nothing for him to buy. There was no reason for him to buy into it. That's the reason was Zeph, was Zeph telling him to go. Him. Not, 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 what I'm saying is like that interaction never happened, and it's it's just weird that like Zoro was able to or not able to buy in, but Sanji was, even though yeah. it's like Zeph said go. Sanji was still, I feel like Sanji would be like, but why? He was I just mean, like, okay, yes, I'll go. Before all that happens, right? Like, Luffy's in the kitchen. He eats his food. He's like, yo, your food's re really good. Yeah. And then they have, they shared a conversation that Sanji tells him, like, his, like, backstory and shit. Well, but the thing is, like, part of the reason why Sanji bought in is because of Don Krieg attacking. And, and like, he sees that Luffy can make <clears throat> things that seem impossible become possible. It's like, okay, well, maybe my dream, the whole purpose of the East Blue is my dreams. My yeah, dreams of course. become true. Mm -hmm. And it's like, he never had that. It was just Zeph like go. Well, not like, only okay. not only that when Arlong. That's, food, that's a very oversimplification tasty. of it because it's more about like. No, no, that's what it felt like. Like it felt but, like it was just like there was nothing that happened. It was like the whole the whole time I was like, all right, when's Don Krieg gonna attack? And then I remembered like Mihawk took him out instantly, and I was like, no, that, that was that was weird. But like in in the uh, live action, like when Arlong attacks. Like Sanji says, like Luffy, this isn't your fight. This is like this is the restaurant. We'll fight. And Luffy's like, no, I'll fight. So I think that kind of like goes into like, yeah, oh, Sanji that's... seeing like, oh, Luffy's willing to put his life on the line for people he barely knows. Mm -hmm. So I think that kind of like replaced that. See that, but it's like throw your whole life away and go with someone just over that. It's kind of weird. I mean, he wanted, he kind of no, wanted to leave. It's, it's a layered thing, Tyler. It's, it's not it's, it's, one specific okay. thing. Maybe just because I've been a long time since I watched the show. This is what I remember what it feels like. It feels like it just nothing happened the entire Barate arc. Except for like Arlong showing up like for a little bit and then leaving, like, being an asshole, wrecking the place and leaving. Mm -hmm. And it's like all of a sudden Sanji's on the crew. That's what but, it felt like looking back on. But it. all the things Devin are saying, these are all layered into why Sanji ended up joining. It wasn't just like one of those things. It was <clears> all <throat> of those things working together. The Arlong thing made Sanji look at Luffy like, okay, he's this type of person. They talking in the kitchen. Luffy tells them all these great things about Sanji. He's complimenting Sanji. Mm -hmm. they're, they're getting good chemistry there. Steph tells him about his pirate stories. Sanji says, okay. Sanji kind of buys into the pirate lifestyle a little bit and of understanding the all blue or whatever was already his dream. And then it comes down to Zeph telling him, hey, yo, go do this. You're not going to do You're not going to do anything that you want to do by staying here. I'll be all right. Just go with Luffy. And he's like, okay. Yeah. There's, it's there's, layered. It's I, not I, just I agree. I agree it's layered. What I'm saying is like, it's been a long time since I've watched it. Looking back, it feels like nothing happened. Like I, I remember waiting for stuff to happen for the Baratier, and it's like nothing happened. I think it's it just was just very was just very rushed. It was what, what like two episodes or three? Oh, was, yeah, no, every it was, it was not three. It was yeah. like it was like I think an episode and a half. No, it was, it was two. No, I think I think it was like an episode and a half because it. it uh, I thought it was weird that the epi the arcs blended episodes, which personally I thought it was. Weird. I feel like every episode should have been an arc. Like in its own, or maybe like every two episodes would have been an arc. I think but it, I thought it, it was though. If it was two episodes, then it was like half one and then part of another one. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I know what you mean. Um, because there's eight, there was eight episodes, right? I think it was four arcs. Uh, because I, I think because I know like, I know a yeah, like, village is definitely two episodes. Yeah, <laughs> Sir Village, arc, two, uh, those, Sir those, village those. Baratier. and then you have the final Arlong Park. He's like, yeah, uh, I think yeah. each one Arlong had two Park, episodes. Arlong Park was like three full episodes. It's just about it was a this, long episode or a long arc, and then you also have like the whole episode of, like Luffy as a kid, and then like uh, oh, that was not a whole episode. It was like half an episode, and they kept alluding back to it, so like that would take over time hmm. close to an episode so maybe maybe it was like 1.5 but yeah it, it just felt like it was a very uneventful arc and looking back it feels like sanji just running oh, okay i get what y'all are saying there's probably layers i have to go back and rewatch it it's been a long time i watched it the day it dropped so yeah. no so do a I. long time uh and i don't really remember much of it but it feels like nothing happened and he just suddenly joined the crew I think that's just going to be the issue of the format of it being eight episodes versus a series that's a manga of a thousand chapters. I, it's going to be rushed. I, I do, yeah, I do kind of wish they did like more that. than eight episodes. I'm like, why does it have to be eight episodes? But I, I mean, I like, mean, time constraints, money. They spent a lot of money in this project, so it's like I get it. It could also be the they're they're taking the risk because no anime project ever gets the love, so they have to take the risk of we could get canceled. So let's not well, let's like, not push twenty episodes and well, it being asked. I'm like even ten episodes, like just two more episodes. It'd still be rushed though. Things. Yeah, but you can kind of flesh. You have you have uh, you have more. Like yeah. that's like a hundred minutes to flesh things out. 
Yeah. I just I think know. you just have to look at it from the business sense. It's like probably yeah, it doesn't make sense because it's yeah. like now looking into season two, they yeah for sure they, they, they probably, like especially like Alabasta going yeah. into Alabasta, they can flush out things like Whiskey Peak. Yeah. It's not just like oh, there's this place called Whiskey Peak and they go mm -hmm. past it. You know, hopefully but, like seeing the people actually like the Maboom. series. And, yeah. yeah, and they they mm -hmm. actually know okay, we can cook now. Now I have higher expectations for them yeah. to like extend things because they know that well they, they kind of still can get canceled but like they're already renewed for three seasons so they kind of have that three more or three total three total okay. right now they said they want 10 but they're like <laughs> they're greenlit three yeah <clears throat> so i mean that's the last topic i wanted to get to now to get into the segment that i think we could segment. potentially yeah the, the segment potential. i mean it's kind of a topic in a sense did you guys see that tiktok i sent you about the guy in the room yeah Okay. No. Ah, all right. I already, I already sent you my answer, but yeah, we can talk about it. Yeah. Hypothetical question. You inherit a magic house and gain access to one of three magical rooms. Which one do you choose? Full explanation and caveats at the end. You receive word that you have just inherited a beautiful mansion house. All the taxes, everything is paid on it for the rest of perpetuity, the utilities, everything. As well as a modest stipend that guarantees that you can live a decent standard of living without ever having to work again. However, you quickly learn that that's not all. You are given a magic key and have it explained to you that there are three rooms within this house, each with its own magic. However, once you unlock the door to one of these rooms, you can never unlock the door to the other two. So you can pick one and only one. The first room to choose from is a magical library and it contains every word that was ever written down by anyone ever. One of the books is a magical sentient book that sort of acts as the librarian and can direct you to anything you want to find. Every secret, every diary, every password ever written down is in this library and the book can help you find it. The second is a room full of mirrors and in these mirrors you can see anything reflected in any mirror in the world. So you gain the ability to look through any mirror anywhere on the world and this does include any reflective surface. The third room is an indoor pool that if you dive to the bottom of the pool, you can surface in any body of water anywhere in the world that is large enough to contain you. So you could pop up in someone's bathroom, but probably not in their drinking glass. So do you choose to open the library, the pool, or the room of mirrors? All right, so uh, you guys saw the TikTok, I'm assuming. I'm assuming I overlaid it. You guys saw the TikTok there? Don't look up. It's not there, Devin. They already saw it. <laughs> bro, bro, bring, oh. bring it <laughs> you think I'm going to have them watching while I'm talking? <laughs> yeah, while I'm talking, also listen to this TikTok. That makes no sense, Devin. Obviously, they've already seen the TikTok. I'm hoping. Hoping I edited it right. <laughs> they saw the TikTok. Um, so yeah, I mean, basically, like I, this is a guy I follow on TikTok. He he does he does prompts like this a lot, where it's like magical things or you know hypotheticals a lot. And I just think it'd be fun to finish every episode. We just finish, or if we want to do in the middle or whatever, just we just every every episode we just have a segment where we cut to one of his hypotheticals and just answer how we how we feel we would decide. Mm. All right, we can start with start with Devin because you've already seen this. Well, I've seen this too, but yeah, um, I told Gabe right. Uh, Cause he sent it to me on TikTok, and I told Gabe, I think it's library easy if writing and typing are equivalent. They are. Mm -hmm. In that case, I think it's an easy he library. Ever, well, he said written. written. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If writing and typing are equivalent, think of how broken that is. Any password ever typed, you have access um, to. No, okay. so, actually, it's not so, typed because he said any password ever written down. Yeah, but yeah, but he, typing in, and in the written. comments, somebody asked about typing, and he said no. Fuck. Cause then that would apply like phones typing. That's what like I'm that saying. Too. No, broken. Yeah. There, okay, I'll say there is some there are some questions from the comments that were answered. So typing doesn't count in the pool one. Apparently, you can dive back in and come out of the pool. Like you can return. You choose. Oh, you, you can go back to like stuck. wait. Yeah, you're okay. not stuck wherever you come out of. Writing. That that does that does change things. Cause like how many people write things nowadays? But. But that would assume that means like if it's like printed off or like printed mm -hmm. onto a book that's also in there. Even though like if someone wrote it on a computer, yeah. like I got published into a book, like an actual Is that book kind of writing? that's written down. I would assume. I don't, don't look at me. I don't well, know. It, <laughs> How are you? You're the guy with the answers. I, I, I I'm not him. Because like, because like, we can, I, I would, we can, we can do house rules. Assume, okay. Let's, well, okay. Rule actually, it, no, I, I would say I, if it was published on a physical on, copy. I don't know because based on the so the the library that you're in is a bunch of books and like right right the library you're in is a bunch of books and he's saying all those books would count so if unless though granted we're in a magical world so we don't know if those books are handwritten or not mm. but if he's saying those books count then i don't know like like i said we're in a magical world so we don't know if they wrote in those books or right. if they typed them we don't know 
I think I still am leaning towards library. I mean, I'm trying to remember the. I know the pool one. What's the third one? Uh, uh, the reflections. Mirror. You can see through anything in, that reflects. I think that's like easily the weakest link. Yeah, I think that's the think weakest one. Easily the weakest it's link. like, what are you doing that no. for? Like, what are you? What are you? Yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah, like, like yeah, come yeah, on, yeah, yeah, pervert through that yeah, one. No, yeah, yeah. what are you using that for? Only mirrors. It's anything reflective. And eyes are reflective, so you so can look watch through anybody's eyes. Something? You'll be like, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Drunk like that Drake. No. Yeah, Drake. <laughs> of course you thought of that. I was like, I'm not even going for it. Yeah, yeah. Throw the clip of Devin talking about Devin's D or Drake's D. <laughs> Devin's D. <laughs> Um, like no, of course you brought that. No, but like, just think about it. you can look through anybody's eyes. That can be useful. I'm not saying like that's what I'm choosing. I'm just saying let's not act like it's an ass ability. It's no, it's, it's not still ass. really good. I, said, I, said it's the, I think it's the weakest link. Easily the weakest. Link. I don't know. Because the other one, the other two are so useful. Like the third one, like the the mirror one or like the reflective surface one is useful. But the practicality of being able to go anywhere. Just by diving in the water? Am I wet afterwards? Anywhere, anywhere with water, you should be wet, I'm assuming. Aww. You're yeah, diving into the so, water, yeah. what do you expect? Yeah, what, you, what, you think you're <laughs> anti-wet? <laughs> Stomachs are showing up and it's mopping <laughs> wet. Like, <laughs> the, the caveat, <laughs> Devin thinks the caveat of choosing the pool room is you're anti-wet. He like throws anti-wet on you. The caveat of the library is you have to knowledge capabilities. Yeah, I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. Like, 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 come on. It's like, you can touch a book instantly collect, like, no. No, I'm I'm saying like, if I'm diving in the pool, maybe like I come out the other side dry, you know? Oh, why? I'm just mopping wet. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. I don't think it was that far to believe, <laughs> far to believe that. My um, ability allows me to be wet wherever I go. I mean, going into the passwords thing, if you can just look into anybody's eyes, you can see them typing in their password. Mm. And you can just be like, okay, I now know it. But you have to know when they're doing it. Yeah, you would. Granted. So, like, you have, to be stare, you have to be staring at that person's eyes for, like, no, no, no. 24 hours. No, like no, no. What if I just do this, Devin? I just say, um, what if I'm just in my room and I'm just like... Hey Devin, um, check your bank account real quick. Or no, I do. I, Are you doing the right of it? I'm just saying. In general, I could just say, hey, I could just text somebody about, hey, check your bank account, or say, say maybe I'm popping on Twitter. I'm like, hey yo, everybody, <laughs> screenshot your bank account, see who has the highest amount, and then move. I'm looking through these eyes. I'm like, who's logging in real quick? All right, all right. If you're a villain, then yeah, that makes sense. I'm saying I was going for like companies. Bro, 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 <laughs> he brought up the passwords first. I'm just saying, using his own argument, you can use the reflection thing to get passwords as well. Mm. It has to be the timed right like you have to be able to know the timing of it and also think about like if you really want to go down the thief route you can go look at when store managers are closing down the shop you can look at the passwords they type in to close it up and mm. put the security codes in and boom you walk up with there and you're in so like if you want to go the criminal route the reflection one could be very useful for you yeah now that i am thinking about it the water one is would be kind of hard to like utilize like more often than not, because like how many bodies of water you like is big enough to like contain yourself? You know a what lot. I mean? A pool. As in, how many pools do you think are in this world? Now? Yeah, yeah, so but like, wait, you just going so in the pool? And then what? Like hotel pool, easy public pools. Yeah, like no, but what I'm saying is like, let's say like um bathtub. Oh, <laughs> 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 you have to assume there's water in there. That means there's yeah. a person in there. I, no, that maybe they're set in the bathtub. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just saying, like, let's say, like, oh, maybe I want to like, rob this bank. I'm gonna rob that bank. I can't rob Why that bank. Why do you want to rob? Why do you want to do <laughs> criminal rob activities? Well, I am saying, I don't... um, I mean, yeah, I guess you te technically go anywhere in the world, but like, you would just be outside at that point, or like, yeah. But it's it's just you're saving money on flights. Yeah, like the only way I can um traveling is like the only thing I can use this for, like. And granted, you're saving money on flights, but then, then you still have to buy. <laughs> Not only that, you have to still buy all your. You can't bring any luggage yeah. unless you can bring the luggage with you. But then it's gonna be wet unless unless you get like a space bag and you like <laughs> throw this shit in there. Then all your stuff is stay dry. I'm looking after. crazy. I'm this wet man just appearing <laughs> with a bag. Like I look crazy. Like, you look crazy regardless. <laughs> I look, no one, I look no wild. Gonna, all you all you gotta do is easy, especially for you. You can swim. Just do it like I don't know. I don't know, actually, did, he, did he specify you? Do you see the other side you're coming out of the pool or no? Uh, I'm looking. I don't see anything like that. No, like in uh, the video, did he specify no, that? No, did not specify. Okay. But, yeah, he, the people also talking about the comments, which this is obviously like not what he's intending because it's just what they're saying. You know, it's just what they're saying in there. But um, the mirrors, you can't hear, and people are uh, taking the wide assumption that because one, you can't mm. hear anything from the mirrors; you can only see. And then two, it's the quality of the reflection. So eyes are reflective, but they're not very reflective. 
they are just they can mildly reflect light, but depending that, on how wet the eye is. So did it's he like say that though. They say it was the quality I, of the reflection. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying this is what they're. I think they're bringing a little too nitpicky. Yeah. Sometimes people are a little too over nitpicky, and then some people are under nitpicky. They're like, nah, broads come. I can do anything. <laughs> Broad like, you see the moon? Yeah, yeah. Is that my moon? There's, there's such like, a, there's such a wide, but like, the moon's reflective. I'm looking at the moon. Boom! I proved it. The Earth is flat. Let's go. Hey, if you have a bright enough light, everything's reflective. <laughs> yeah, Loki did it. Like, there's gonna be people who just are opposite sides of the spectrum. There. Uh, speaking of the comments, um, I don't know if you saw when then there was someone, someone tried to meta game, which. I'll I'll wait till everyone makes their decision. I'll oh yeah, we haven't all decided. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can go first or next yeah. since I've already I've already seen it as well. I'm I still gonna go the written thing. I just think there's so many useful things written, and the pool thing I can't swim, so it's easy like uh, no shot for me. What you had to swim the like I thought like I, you jump you in and you have to swim to the bottom. Oh, that what it says. I, well, it not, doesn't not, say how swim, deep it is. Swim to the bottom necessarily isn't the issue. It's more about coming out. Like I can't come out. <laughs> there's no way I'm getting out. Yeah, you better hope you're in a bathtub then. <laughs> yeah, like literally the only bodies where I can come out of is like a swimming pool. That's the only one that I can choose. Which granted, there, like, hotels are everywhere in the world so it, i can still do it but it comes with the issue of like yeah when i could bring all my suitcase and a bag with me as i dive in the pool. yeah like that's the, rocks that's the only but way i can do it think about any mysteries you could solve though like was the written thing yeah oh exactly. i think it with a pool i was like devin tell me what mystery <laughs> no, okay detective devin <laughs> I, saw, <laughs> I saw somebody <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought he was going <laughs> somebody somebody was like i know the epstein list yeah i do it's <laughs> yeah like, there's so many things even regardless if, if type typing counts or not there's still so many oh, yeah, things that are written so many and like i can go back and i i don't know if he spent did he say anything about time of when it's written he said ever yeah so yeah. i can literally look at like old old shit like julius caesar was writing and shop like hey let me let me restore you know how much money i can make off that yeah like, you're, can, you're restoring at that yeah point. i can restore restore a bunch of writings that we thought were lost I'm like no nope, it ain't lost i got that let but he on. didn't say that you can read any language yeah, but if it's oh, that's true. Well, if it's written in, in like Russian, you can't read Russian. Well, ten, but you it, could but get I translators. Can just copy it. Yeah, I can just copy it I to guess, my best yeah. abilities. Like I can still look at. Or it. you like, just like, take a picture of it. I'm not it. brain dead to where I'm like, <laughs> I can <let> it <laughs> like I'm not stupid. Hey, what I do I do still, with this knowledge? Like I don't, I can't speak Spanish or read Spanish. But if I look at it, I can still write it. Like I can, it, I may not you understand what I'm writing. Yeah, copy it, and then I can show it to somebody who can read it and they can translate it. Uh, I don't necessarily have to understand it. Yeah, to of course. To use it. What do you think, Dollar? Because me and Gabe, we worked at the library. That's library, no diff. Like, yeah, I like, okay, first off, well, the only thing I say like stands a chance is is the reflection one, but, and because I, to me, I can't do the swimming pool one. That's like stupid to me. It's like <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's cool. Teleportation is not stupid, but it's like I don't know, man. It's is it worth it? But like, so, you just to like travel. Mad, you look like I'm mad. <laughs> yeah, you look like a crazy <laughs> yeah, person. I'm coming out the pool. I'm <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. I don't like. It's, it's kind of weird. It's like, especially if you can't see the other side of where you're coming out of, you're running the risk of someone be like, "Who is this guy?" Yeah, like who is this guy? Now I gotta run the fate of some random person. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, <laughs> I'm like, what like if it's really swole. It's GG. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I. I I think the mirror one, it's just like, all you could do is watch. Okay, let's say it's I can learn a lot though from, I can, I can yeah. see anybody's perspective. Cause I'm going off of like, it's not the quality of the you, reflection. Okay, I would say like, even if you have like perfect, I was, I was gonna say, like even if you have perfect quality, you can only see, and that only gets you so far. Yeah, it does, but it's still way more useful than like not anything else. Like, like I'm compared to, damn, nigga, you breathing loud. <laughs> 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 Loud ass breathing yeah, yeah, over I'm, there. I'm, I'm struggling over here, bro. <laughs> it's, like, it's like it's like these hoes got me tight, like, bro. It's like, <laughs> it's, like, it's like when you're at school and you climb the stairs, you're like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bro, these, these hoes got me tight, dog. <laughs> got me stressing. I just think I can learn. I, the way I view it is like kind of like six pass of pain thing. I can like if I'm in a room, I can look at everybody. Oh wait, no, I can't do that. You know, no, you're just yeah. probably yeah, 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 yeah. you like, it's a room mirror. Yeah, I have to be in there. Yeah, yeah, I realize I have to be in the room. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But like like the books, I feel like it's just easy. It's free. You yeah. can have things like the the Library of Alexandria. Mm -hmm. Like you have lost yeah. text. Even if you can't read it, take it to someone that can read exactly. it. Exactly. It's like they can transcribe it. You have lost knowledge that you can have. Mm -hmm. And plus, like, there's a sentient book, which implies that there's well, it's obviously the magic rooms, but like there's a sentient book, so magic 
can exist being viewed onto items mm -hmm. and we know that with the room so who's to say there's not like magical books that you can't have and then also i was thinking like if it's a sentient book that can take you to whatever you want that's what he said is that you say it and it'll take it to like take you to it if it exists in the room mm -hmm. it's like could the book not also potentially translate what it has on the page to to, to you directly so it's like even if yeah. you can't read like some mystical runic magic language like wizards made up like five thousand years <laughs> yeah. ago uh -huh. in the Shadow Wizard Money Gang, like you can you can have it transcribe transcribe it to mm. you. You can write it down, and now you have a tome, and yeah. like you have a grimoire you can do this, your shit with. This goes into what I was talking about. This is how someone was saying they meta game that you're saying you choose the library one, and you know that this this mansion was built by somebody, right? And he had to write down the spells. Now you can just make the rooms that all have the other ones. So boom, you have all three abilities. If you I saw that. someone say with the pool one, you just get some water, throw it under the door, and it comes out. It takes a while. Fuck it. Like, after time, you just flood the other rooms, and yeah. he's like, no, don't. He's like, I'm here. Let's go. Let's go. And you just gotta like, dive back in. Yeah. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> But yeah, mm -hmm. um, but I, I, I like the library approach better, definitely. Yeah, library, library I just think it's so I think it's just free. Cool. I think it's yeah, actually free. It's literally free. Yeah, there's not too many flaws to it. Like, the other two have, like, some limitations. Yeah. The library one, the only limitation is, like, reading. It's or, type, like, it, it, it has to be and, written. And it's or, like, typed. you can't understand yeah, certain yeah. languages, but, like, yeah, like we said, translation. And, the, yeah, who's to say the book can't just translate it for you? Like That's that, what I'm saying. Like, it, like it, it, it could take you to whatever you want. It's, like... Cause like, what what use would it be if it's just like, yeah, you can read it, but no, nah, you can't read that language. I feel like it does make sense to assume it translates it for you. I mean, it also it's a sentient it, book. Why would it not? It'd be cool if it, like, if it like, if it like, if you touch it and it like copies the text into itself and you can just read it. That'd be kind of cool. I kind of like you? that. I'm gonna get a spell. I'm gonna find a spell that I can make this book like that. So then I can just be like, mm, and I'm like, mm, okay, now I can read everything without you having to tell me with your annoying That's ass true. voice. Because let's be real, it's gonna be the <laughs> voice. Why the doodle ball, bro? Like, no. <laughs> 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 Actually, in the book you want is over <laughs> there. Why does it have that voice? Yeah, why does it have to have that voice? Why can't it be some British Justin Roiland's voice? I know it is. Mr. Poopy Ball. <laughs> I'm gonna make a spell so you shut the fuck up and then I'm gonna <laughs> 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 Why the yapping as he caught me like It's a fucking magical book in a magical why library yappy in a magical house I don't know Devin I can't tell you why things You gave it this flaw <laughs> I said I feel like I feel like I'm just gonna be like It's okay now It is now canon I'm like shut the fuck up I don't wanna hear anything from you <laughs> Tell me where the fuck this magical tome is, so I can change your annoying ass voice into like. This literally like is a Rick and Morty. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, but yes, it's free. Yeah, it's free. it's it's, so, it's free. so free. Such a good ability. Yeah, you know just... what else is free? Oh, oh yeah, go ahead. Oh, our Patreon. <laughs> yeah, let it go. Go ahead. What you were gonna say? Oh, are we done? What else is free? No, but are we done? What else is free? I mean, Wardo, but are we done? <laughs> I, was, I was I was gonna ask. Sure. Yeah, we're done. Are we like officially done? Yeah, what, Ooh, why are you asking? What were you going to say? Just say what you were going to say. You know what else is free? Liking, commenting, subscribing, going to our <laughs> other socials, doing all the YouTube stuff, and watching all the other videos. Entirely free for you. It is entirely free. Oh my god, Tyler. Who would have thought that? Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah let us know uh, how you enjoyed the the new uh the segment that we're trying to do see if, if you guys enjoyed that i mean you guys obviously like the hypotheticals so i feel like this is a, a cool little segment we can do from this guy you can uh, i'll link his tiktok below as well you can look at his tiktok if you want as well and actually if you want to recommend a specific one of his hypotheticals for us to talk about on the episode go for it google form question mark yeah what google form question mark google form maybe yeah yeah google form may have i've always might be free google forms. yeah might be free google form is pretty free too it's pretty free yeah it's pretty free yeah ah but we can't read what's written on there though in the library not free not free not free um also like um look i'm looking forward to some of the stuff we have do we do have planned for season three me and tyler got an episode we we're working on pretty pretty hyped for that i think that one could be pretty fun so I hope season three is good. Hope hope it goes better than season two. I mean, season two I think was still pretty good. Like I don't I don't necessarily hate season hate two it, in any no. means. No, it's really good still. But I just hope we can you know get it rolling. See how you guys enjoy it. And bye bye. See you next week.
Bro, there's a Tori I'ma talk, bro. I'll just look at this fucking Febreze can. I'll try and throw it out to laugh. I'm like, bro, who stuck this up their ass? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Bro, look at it. <laughs> at first, I was like, did I throw up on this? Like, I did not throw up Yo, on this. Cause no, cause no, 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 because the thing is, I used this the night I threw up to make sure the house didn't stink as bad as it did. And I feel like I would have noticed this was drunk. I was like, no, like, you were drunk. Was you were drunk. I was not drunk. I was drunk. I drove home. Yeah, an hour, two hours later, two hours. I'm not drunk. 